talking about it from the point of view when Saskatchewan has the football. But there's a lot of intensity and a pretty good battle going on. Usually Rob Murphy in the middle of things for the BC Lions right now. Playing with a little bit of anger, which is kind of the way you want to see your offensive line play. Good, good level of aggression. Mike Pierce. Good protection again tonight. Just one sack so far for the Rough Riders. Pierce going deep. Caught. Touchdown. Harris Jackson. With another circus grab. The BC Lions start the fourth quarter looking to break this thing open. The first really big play of this football game. They've been testing this matchup all night. Paris Jackson on the short side of the field. He gets man coverage. Buck Pierce has thrown it deep to him a couple of times. It's the first time they've been able to connect. Paris Jackson taking advantage of his size against Omar Morgan. Uses his body to shield the ball. Six catches, 126 yards after a week when Paris Jackson had none. And I know that touchdown was for his brand new daughter, Celine. Paris and his girlfriend, Susie. And parents earlier this week, congratulations to them. And a big touchdown. And Omar Morgan and Paris Jackson have been at it all night. You're going to see Paris Jackson come from the far left of the formation. Offense in the Canadian Football League is all about isolating one defender. In this case, they isolate Omar Morgan one-on-one -on -one coverage on the weak side. Just a, a thin post route. Pushes deep. Fights to the inside a little bit. Gets inside position. Then as the ball hangs up, just uses his body to shield Omar Morgan from making a play on the ball. Great throw, perfectly thrown ball from Buck Pierce. Well, now the Saskatchewan Rough Riders are going to have to do what they did in Winnipeg. And again, a team that has faced a lot of adversity this year and through its eight wins, eight very different victories. Wally Buono's team trying to get its sixth win and close the gap between the Lions and the Riders. What's up, Soleen? I hope you're watching at home. I love you, little baby girl. I love you. Well, Celine, Daddy, just got you a touchdown. Now the Riders have to play comeback again. Weston Dressler around the edge. Pretty good field position. Now the Riders have to do something with it. Once again, some chirping on the sideline. Players right up in each other's faces. A week ago, the Riders came back from 17 down. And Michael Bishop heated up in the second half. If you didn't know the Saskatchewan receivers before, you did by the end of that game. Weston Dressler. Ron Walker, Vincent Marshall, all in on the act. Luka Kanji, a big field goal to seal the deal. This is a team that just believes. Believes. I talked to Conrad Wasella, who's one of the newcomers, one of the guys who's been flown in with all the injuries over the course of the season. Played his first game for Saskatchewan last week, and the comment he made was, when we were down 17 in the fourth quarter, he said, I was looking around asking, are we actually losing this game? He said, the attitude there is so positive. The level of belief and confidence is so great. They expect to win in any situation. Big run there by Wes Cates, but again, as Ken Miller said and alluded to in his halftime interview with Perry Sikalski, saying they keep shooting themselves in the foot with penalties. They had pretty good field position and unnecessary roughness. Call. 57 Saskatchewan's reporting as ineligible. And that had put them back even further. So now the Rough Riders have to drive. Luca Kanji, who was the hero last week, with a couple of late field goals, has done all the scoring for Saskatchewan. Riders have yet to find the end zone, but there's tons of time left. 12 point lead. Bishop running now for his life. Let's it go into traffic. 
and almost picked off again. And once again, the Rough Riders were going to have to boot the football away. What a rush from the BC Lions. And once again, Cameron Wake providing some of that pressure. They do a good job picking things up on the backside, but Wake comes free. And he's one of the few defensive linemen in the league who has the speed to track down Michael Bishop. Bishop on the rollout is as fast as any quarterback in the league, throws very well at full speed. But Cameron Wake has that great closing speed. Keeps reeling him in. Bishop's had to throw it away a couple times in dangerous places. Direction again, it's a second down. And now the big play from Bishop to former BC Lion Adam Nicholson. And there's Adam a Nicholson. big, big play. Adam Nicholson, a guy who was let go by the BC Lions because he was, had dropped the ball a little bit too often for their liking. Comes up with a big catch against BC on this one. Nice swim move to get to the inside on his defender, Reggie Miles. Bishop looking there all the way. That's his primary receiver. Hits him right on time. Good protection by the Saskatchewan O-line. First catch is a rough rider for Adam Nicholson. Look out. Let's it go. Oh, what a catch. Back to back, the former first round pick for the Lions. We talked about those smallish receivers that Bishop has right now. Well, Nicholson is not one of them. And Michael Bishop's going to face pressure. It's Reggie Miles bringing that secondary blitz from the backside. Big hit just as the ball is thrown. Adam Nicholson, collision off Otis Floyd, continues into his out route. Great effort to hold on to that football. An impressive drive now for the Rough Riders, one of their best of the night. Cates, West Cates, look out! Brought down to the five. West Cates thunders. Oh, does West Cates get some more involved? We see the Saskatchewan offense picking up. Keep an eye here, though, on the middle linebacker, Javi Glatt. He doesn't like the way he was handled on this play and was pleading with the officials for a penalty. The guard, right guard, number 67, Mike Abumetric, grabs him from behind as he tries to fight back into the hole, but it goes undetected. Glatt was the, the lion with the best opportunity to make a tackle on that play. First and goal, Bishop, touchdown, Adam Nicholson. Where has this guy been all night? Three catches on this drive. His first three as a rider and his first touchdown. Adam Nicholson, the former first round pick from the University of Ottawa, comes back to haunt his former team. Bishop gets to the outside again. Just a quick out. Defenders coached up to defend the middle first. Nicholson takes advantage of that by selling it with a quick inside move. Pushing hard to the outside. And there is the fast but not hard throw from Michael Bishop. Well, new heroes every day for the Riders. CFL on TSN is brought to you in part by CFL All-Star Voting. On now, go to futureshop.ca All-Star and vote for your favorite player today. So the Saskatchewan Rough Riders bounce right back. And once again, a five-point game. Thanks to Adam Nicholson. Ball dropped by Stephon Logan. Adam Nicholson, his first CFL touchdown, could not have come at a better time for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And Adam Nicholson, over the course of that drive with a couple big catches, earned the confidence of his quarterback, Michael Bishop. So it gets down to the goal line. He's the guy who gets the prime route. Just a quick out. You saw him stem slightly to the inside on Corey Banks. Hits the goal line and bends it out. Just enough to break the plane. You see his numbers. Three catches for 50 yards. The guy who was let go because he was having trouble catching the football or wearing black and orange. Nevada University. Born in North Bay. 
Adam Nicholson, former Lion, makes his ex-mates pay. No catch. His first three CFL receptions, his first CFL touchdown. We hardly saw him in the first half. And Adam Nicholson is a guy who had, had clearly lost his confidence in BC, struggled a little bit in training camp there. Inconsistency, catching the football. This could be the kind of game that really builds that and helps relaunch his career, so to speak. Just a matter of getting an opportunity here in Saskatchewan, where he was buried on the depth chart a little bit with the Lions. Pierce hangs in, drops. Yeah, what a time for Adam Nicholson. Did have one catch with BC this year, but his first three with the Rough Riders could not have planned it any better here for the Riders in this fourth quarter. Can they do it again? A second straight week coming Off from behind. Side, BC number 82. Ten lose to climb. Third down. Well, it doesn't matter in that case because there's a penalty against the Lions, but as we talk about the ball being dropped, Rufus Skiller and again had the ball thrown to him, had an opportunity to pull it in. He was unable to make the catch. Been a tough night for number 87 in orange. Suddenly, old Mo has turned again towards the Rough Riders. Momentum. Well, Saskatchewan's been a fourth quarter team all year. Dressler, one on one, shakes one tackle, and Weston Dressler brings it to the Saskatchewan 50. The Riders trail by five with nine and a half to go. Introducing our very own Rona Eco brand, the first series of products in a line which we've created to be more.